Hi guys, welcome back to episode number 11 of Candle of the Week with Michael, yes! So this is going to be the first episode of 2023 guys, so we have something special for you, yes! And I'm going to be using this beautiful clear vessel, clear iridescent from 1617.com, okay? It's already wicked with a double CDN number 3, and I'm using the wick holder from, also from the wick kit that comes with the uh, separate, you can buy at 1617, okay? Just put this in here. Okay, so guys, I've been doing soul searching and trying different fragrance oils to come up with something special for the beginning of the year. I decided to make like a lavender theme candle. And I was thinking about blending three different oils from Simbi, uh, Simbi fragrances, guys. And I came up with the conclusion that I want to add, I want to make it simple. I want to make it like very soothing very like nothing too complicated that's gonna make you think oh my god what the hell is that no i just want something simple that get really that you get it you know that you get the vibe that you get like <sighs> i'm ready for 2023 so equal parts exotic woods and lila so this is gonna be the magic potion guys 50 50 okay so let me read to you about lila travel to norway as you breathe in wildflowers Fresh lavender and sliced watermelon while enjoying the crisp mountain air. Beautiful. Okay, exotic woods. Warm patchouli, leathery vetiver, and smooth Tahitian vanilla work the magic alongside notes of amber and balsam to create a deep, rich, and exotic fragrance. These two together, guys, is giving me the vibe that this vessel wants. I'm in love with this fragrance, guys. I've been trying different combinations and I was trying to do, to add something else to the party, but guys, these two together, like, they wanna be in here, guys. They wanna be in here and the name of the candle is the Transparent Candle, yes! The Transparent Candle, guys, because we all should be transparent at the beginning of 2023, guys. We all have to put aside all the negativity and all the bad things that happened in the past, in the past year, guys, and we have to start transparent. We have to start with a, a lot of motivation, you know, and just just go out there and do it, okay, guys? And what a better way than to be honest, than to be a genuine, than to be trustworthy, you know, than to be vulnerable, you know, and just to, uh, people can see you like a transparent person, you're gonna gain the confidence, you know? And that's, there's nothing more that trustworthy that you want is people's confidence and that people trust you, people wanna be with you, people want to support you guys, this is the meaning of this candle, okay, guys? So this is the transparent candle, the first candle of 2023, of candle of the weekly Michael, yes, yes. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna get, get everything set up. I'm gonna get the wax. I'm gonna get the, the scales so we can start making this beautiful candle, okay? Yes! Okay, guys, welcome back. So we have in here two oils in here. Now let's make the numbers. And for this candle, let me just put this a little bit back so you can see better. So this is gonna be 14 ounce total for the for the weight of the of the candle. That includes fragrance oil and the wax, okay? So if I want 10% fragrance low, which is what I'm looking for, I'm going to need 1.4 ounces of fragrance oil and 12.6 ounces of wax, okay? That's gonna give me the perfect amount, okay? Now, because I'm using two different oils, I'm going to divide 1.4 ounces divided in two, so that's gonna give me 0.7 ounces of each, okay? So let me just do that right now, let me tear. So I need 0.7 ounces, and I'm gonna need the same amount for the other one. I'm always, so I'm so happy every time that I'm doing this, guys, when I'm blending oils, it's something like, it just, it makes me so happy. It's the happiest time when I'm making candles is this, when I'm blending oils, when I'm creating something beautiful, new, you know? It's what really got me into making candles, you know, just blending the oils. Okay, so here's the beautiful formula here. Let me just turn this off and put it away. Now for the wax, we need 12.6 ounces. 12.6, yeah, success, success. Okay, let me just put this away. Always have spray alcohol, you know, a, a, a spray like this, and you just fill it up with alcohol. It's the best way for you to clean anything that has wax. Any surfaces, okay? Okay, so guys, I'm gonna put this in the microwave for six minutes and I'll be right back. Yes! I have a spatula here. The wax is melting. Remember, it needs to reach between uh, between 215 and 220, 220 you know? Uh, the reason why is because when, when you put this 
a cool spatula or anything inside the wax, it's gonna go down like 10 degrees. And we have to make sure guys, that when we add the fragrance oil, that it needs to be added at 210, okay? At least 210, because you don't wanna go too lower than 200 when you are mixing the oil, because that's the key to making a, a candle that has a lot of HD and CT, is you have to bind the oil when it's hot. Okay, that's why I hear a lot of people complaining and saying, oh, but I don't get any good HD. It's because of that, okay? So heat the wax to 220. Add fragrance oil at 210. Pour at 185, 180 to 185. Remember, you wanna make sure that you pour between 180 and 185 to avoid the, the wick stickers. Let's go to the bottom of this to uh, dislodge, okay? And that happened a couple of times and I hear a lot of people complaining about it. And that's why, because you're pouring too hot um, and the sticker just comes uh, comes right out. Okay. So guys, I'm so excited about this candle. You know, it's, it's just, I, I, I've been thinking, you know, what's a good message that I wanna send you guys? Because to me, this candle of the week is like me sending you a message or encouragement or uh, motivation or, uh, sharing my experience with you guys to grow more, you know, to grow as a, as a, as a human being, uh, you know, and yeah, and to learn from my mistakes, you know, that's why I like to share with you uh, things that happened to me because I don't want you to go through the same mistakes that I did. And I'm gonna take, the, take it out and I'm gonna check the temperature. 213, that's not hot enough. Because by the time, by the time I put this inside that wax, it's gonna go down 10 degrees. It has to be at least 220, 225. You don't want to add the oil at 230. 214, perfect, I'm gonna add the oil. Perfection! Smells so good! And let's start mixing. Remember, on number seven wax, that's the wax that I'm using, you only need to mix, to mix for 20 seconds. 199, you see how much it went down? So we wanna go down to between 180 and 185. So what I'm gonna do guys is after I pour this candle, I'm gonna work on this side of the room and I'm gonna put a, a background, which I'm gonna be taking pictures of this beautiful candle for the end of the video. And I think it helps with the cooling when you mix like this. And also be careful, you see guys, this is extremely hot, so don't touch it. With the stainless steel, it's gonna get cooler faster because stainless steel, uh, grabs the, the heat. This is a true aromatherapy cleansing. At the same time, it's a true destination fragrance blend. It tells me a story. It tells me a story of like, like I'm being like a lodge, like it, it says, like it describes the exotic woods. Um, I'm a rustic lodge, you know, and just on nature, with animals outdoor, outdoors, you know, at the same time, it feels like you are like, I'm gonna go get a massage at a very high-end spa. You know, it, it gives you different uh, stories, different feelings, different vibes. And that's what I love about these fragrance oils. You know, it's, it, it's just, it plays with the memories. You know, we all have different memories. We all been to different places, you know, and just that's the link that you want to make when you smell these beautiful oils. So let me get ready. I'm going to put this the vessel in here. Okay, it's 185. I'm going to wait until it goes down to 184 to pour. I'm not gonna mix it anymore, I'm gonna leave it like that. Put this to the side. Okay, 184, here we go. Yes, come on beautiful. The transparent candle is born, yes. Welcome to 2023, guys. I hope you like this blend combination. I highly suggest that you make it, guys. And I also wanna let you know, guys, you know, it's, it's like, it's, it's good for you to make this kind of candles. So it's, you know, and just save them on, on the side. You know, it's it was so amazing for me to do the holiday extravaganza, you know, and just, just working on all those candles. And it was so beautiful. It brings you memories of what you did. You know, like I'm I'm collecting all these candles of the week, you know, so at the end, at the end of the year, I'm gonna present them all back to you, you know? And it's great because each candle has different message, you know, and it's, it's so amazing, okay? Okay, guys, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait until this cools down. I'm gonna on this side of the room and I'll be right back. Yes! Welcome to 2023, the transparent candle. Yeah! Success! Success! Okay, guys, let's do a quick recap. Okay, guys, so today we accomplished the transparent candle. It's the first candle of 2023 for me on Candle of the Week with Michael, episode 11. So here we have, guys, a beautiful combination of 
Fragrance Blends of Exotic Woods and Lila from Simbi Fragrances. Yes! Okay, I'm using the beautiful, clear, iridescent Evermore cylinder from 6017, and I'm using number 7 wax, and I'm using double CDN wix configuration, guys. And uh, I cannot wait for this to cure for a couple of weeks, at least for a week for me, and then to enjoy this beautiful candle, the transparent candle. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoy today's video, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video, guys. And also, don't forget to check out my website, candleromance.shop, so you can purchase all my candles in there. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you for being here, guys. Thank you for joining me today on today's video. And don't forget, Sundays, I go live every Sunday at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, uh, 3 p.m. on Eastern uh, Standard Time. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Yes! Take care. Yes!